These pictures here, I think, probably could go over a little bit. Okay. I was born and raised in Jackson, Wyoming, which has a very rich pioneer uh, history, and it, it was just part of my growing up uh, to to be fascinated and curious about those who came before us. I became familiar with the Alberni on a trip from uh, the mainland to Vancouver Island in November of 1999. While on the Queen of Alberni ferry, I noticed that there was a painting next to the bookstore, and it was a painting by Pat Burstall, who painted the HMCS Alberni. And under that was the plaque that described the sinking of the Alberni with the loss of 59 of her crew. And so, I ended up going home. I stayed up all night thinking about this, and uh, by morning I had created a uh, small website for my own curiosity so that I could learn about who these men were, get their stories. I could look up at the battles and things like that, but I wanted to know who were these young men, where did they come from? And so I created, at that moment, uh, the Alberni Project. From that point on, the project started taking on a life of its own. And now we have this wonderful small um, museum here in Courtney. And uh, our stories that we have here are uh, about more than just those 59 men. We've expanded our stories to to include those from the First World War to the Second World War to Afghanistan and everywhere in between. This is just an example here of what people bring us in as part of their family history and that they want to share with others to tell the story of, of uh, Canadians of war. 1939, December, Vancouver Daily Province. Wow. So from this initial inspiration of this one painting, we now have this internationally recognized memorial uh, that has been established to, to tell the stories of Canadians, anyone whose lives were, are affected by, by war. And we have been able to do so because of all of the tremendous artifacts and personal belongings of people to tell the personal stories. We are more of a story museum than we are a military museum. We can only grow if we know where we came from. We can only branch out and prosper uh, as a society if we know where our roots are. And for, for me personally, to know why we are able to live in a free country, why we are able to be the people who we are, really goes back to the people who came before us. And just as importantly, the people in the future, the children of the future, grandchildren, they will be looking at us as the roots for their society. And maybe that's why I do this museum. It's not only for remembering those who came before us, but also for those who will come after us.